Neil Curtis, you played National Junior Davis Cup. You played some of the greatest junior players in the game. Right. You played one here at Stroudsburg. So you know high-end tennis. Looking back, how high-end of a program was run at East Stroudsburg by Dr. Charles Wolbers? Right, and I don't think we realized it at the time, Dave, I mean, what he was able to accomplish at a small school like East Stroudsburg State which it was East Stroudsburg State at that point. Uh, as we had talked about on the phone just a little while ago, we played uh, on our southern tour Clemson, North Carolina State, Duke, the Citadel. Um, Clemson, you mentioned, you certainly right. did. Yeah. North Carolina State, Duke, uh, Davidson. Davidson, that's time. right, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're all really good schools, and uh, we actually held our own. Yeah, I mean, right. when people ask me, you went to East Stroudsburg, uh, well, yeah, I did. Uh, you played tennis? Yeah, I did. What number? I played number one. And then I will tell them about the Southern Tour that we had. And they can't believe it. It's oh, unbelievable. Absolutely not. It's, it's historical yeah, it really in, is. Many, in many respects. Yeah. Townsend Gilbert, you came to East Stroudsburg as a soccer player. Yes. It didn't stop there. You, no. <laughs> you had three other sports that you were a varsity letter winner. And then tennis kind of caught your eye. You got turned on about something. <laughs> what turned you on about the tennis program at East Stroudsburg State? Well, it was uh, Dr. Robers was the main, main uh, situation. But all the other players, everybody was there because of the love of the game. You know, they weren't there because of they were trying to do something individually. It was a team. And what we accomplished, we accomplished as a team. Everybody had to, had to contribute ex hard as much as they possibly could. It was awesome. Doc, as we called him, was certainly innovative. He came up with these drills for skills. Uh, your take <laughs> on those, Townsend? Oh, they were wonderful, especially the one that I loved is when we were right up close to the net. We were three feet from the net, and we had to volley back and forth. Rapid fire like? Yes. And if the ball got up high where you could nail the, the, your opponent on the other side of the net, you did. I went home several times with a lot, many, many, many bruises on me. <laughs> but I learned very quickly not to pop the ball up. <laughs> George, without doubt, unequivocally, there were history moments being made when your dad took over this team at East Stroudsburg. How proud was he of those accomplishments? How proud was the Wolbers family then and now about those accomplishments? You're, you're testing me. This is, this is a whole rush of things, but I will tell you. We want to hear them. I will tell you without a doubt that his philosophy of putting the group ahead of oneself flowed right through to our family. And when this team, which was so special, and it's such an, an honor to be part of this opportunity to, to, uh, to say hello to these people again and honor them, I think the, the, the most important thing to him was the care that he had for his players and the care that he wanted them to have for each other. The 2,500 miles that you guys spent in a nine passenger station wagon uh, tight and close. Bonded you in a way like no other, and I think the uh, obviously the the um, the whole feat that was accomplished in '69 by winning all nine flights certainly led to strengthening the entire conference. No one wanted to go through that again, and so your group made a change that was felt. The ripples are still going on. Beautiful moments forever. One of the highest esteem compliments you can get is being revered and respected by your colleagues. Your dad won the respect of three of the top collegiate coaches that were in the game forever. Dale Lewis at Miami, the Murphy brothers, Chet and Bill. What did that mean to Chuck at the time and what did it mean to the family later on? Well, he was there with them. Yeah, and, and he had them as students. And to later on be so revered by them as their careers grew was just, it was just, it fulfilled his life. Gary, historic times today, historic times 50 years ago with the East Stroudsburg team and Dr. Charles Wolbers. 
How cool is that to have that on the school's program with the record that they had, but the schedule and the opponents that were out there playing against them? Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, a great sense of history of this institution. This is our 126th year, and every year it seems there have been milestones in the field in the world of athletics. So another one here today. And uh, so going back uh, in time uh, with uh, Dr. Wolbers, you know, that team that we're honoring today won all nine flights, six in singles and three in doubles during all 30. 36 points at the Pennsylvania uh, Conference Championships. They uh, placed, uh, they were tied for third at the NCAA College Division Championship, hosted by ESU, in fact, and coached by Dr. Wolbers. Uh, uh, the Warriors were in the middle of the stretch of 10 conference titles in 17 seasons. So historic and, and uh, very dramatic. Uh, Neil Curtis, who placed uh, played first singles, and Vince McHugh reached uh, NCAA semifinals in doubles, and Townsend Gilbert was a national quarterfinalist and single. And so an All-American to boot with absolutely. that performance. Absolutely. 